Hello and welcome to my humble show. I am your host for today and every other day, but that's about all I have to say about me. I have to go back to work here in a few minutes. My apologies if I sound uh, a little hoarse. I'm not horsing around. It's just that I've been sick. Uh, that's the story of my weekend. And my week now as well. Hope you're having a great week. <clears throat> but yes, I'm going to be covering, as briefly as possible, the latest news on the house explosion which took place yesterday in Arlington, Virginia. Uh, there are, there has now been a police press conference. You can see that here. I'm not actually going to play it, uh, but here you can see it on my screen, on your screen. ABC7 News, WJLA. Watch, police give update on massive home explosion in Arlington, Virginia. I may play a little bit of it on... Uh, one and a half times speed, if I can read through the rest of uh, my articles and uh, posts in a timely manner. I do, I do, I do, I do have to go back to work very, very soon. I'm getting a late start recording here. I've been home for a while, actually, but uh had to click around and find out a few things. Here is what I have found out, and I may record another show about this at some point, because although there has been a police press conference... There's limited information. The investigation is ongoing, of course, as it always is. And this is what we know. I'll start with the the photos of the current scene of the crime, if you want to call it that. Um, here's a look at the charred remains of the Arlington House explosion. Police are keeping a wide parameter about 1.5 to 2 blocks or so around the scene. They don't really know the cause of the explosion, no one does. No one seems to know. And if they do know, they haven't said so. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. I don't know when I'll actually get this uploaded, so that there may be breaking news in the meantime. But yes, you can see the mess here. Here's a quick clip for you. Courtesy of Nick Ianelli. WTOP. He appears to be some sort of... Uh, Reporter. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> Sorry if there's a bit of buffering going on. Hopefully it's just on my end. Another photo for you. And there you have it. Arlington County Police. Exiting out of that. Moving on to... This. Breaking Arlington, Virginia PD. Suspect in the... Case is 56-year-old James Yu. Not you, but uh, someone by the name of Yu. Who owned the home. So the homeowner, who was inside at the time and is now presumed dead, was the suspect. Human remains have been discovered inside. I guess they, they were able to identify the remains. Somehow, the DNA, somehow. Of course, the investigation has been going on for... The better part of a day at this point. I suppose. Not sure how long it took them to put the fire out. But I did see the video of that explosion going around yesterday. You know what? I forgot to pull up the actual explosion. So I should probably show you that before I show you anything else. Let me pause. I'll be right back. Alright, I pulled it up and I'll show you momentarily. Uh, let me just exit out of that. Clear all. Yes, clear my searches. Uh, not that I have anything to hide. Now, ATF HQ is on the scene investigating after last night's explosion here in Arlington, expecting another update around 2.30 p.m. And we have since seen that. That was posted three hours ago on X by Randy Bass, who went on to post what I already read as an update. Yes, suspect, or shall I say homeowner, presumed dead. I won't speak to motive too much because I don't know what his motive was in anything he was doing and you'll hear more about that as I continue on. Let me go through this thread from Raw Alerts. Raw's Alerts that is uh, worth a follow if you're on the X. Um, most of this is from last night including the explosion itself. Here you go. Big bada boom. Holy 
Um, yeah, sorry about the language there. People are clearly shocked that there was an explosion. You can see it off in the distance there. Let me enlarge this video for your viewing pleasure. My condolences, though. That's that's sad stuff. I, I don't want to say he was asking for it. It's too soon to say that. But it seems like he had a bit of a questionable history. He had a lot of stuff going on. More stuff that I don't want to speculate on too much. But, yeah. The police were there, and they were trying to enter his house. There are a couple of accounts, um, accounts by uh, neighbors, for example, on how that went down. But ultimately, there was a big explosion. Uh, currently, numerous reports are emerging of people hearing and seeing a large explosion in Arlington, Virginia, extending across Washington, D.C. Witnesses describe a large yellow flash followed by a massive boom rattling multiple buildings and homes. Officials are reporting that it was a house explosion uh, with accounts of people burned, heavy flames, and thick plumes of smoke billowing from a building surrounding uh, or surrounded by trees. So, that's old news at this point. I don't know if any of the police officers were, were injured. So, that's at least one burned and charred individual. According to law enforcement officials, they were attempting to execute a search warrant at the residence when the suspect discharged several rounds inside the home. Subsequently, an explosion occurred at the residence. Reports of numerous people burned. Again, I don't know if numerous people were truly burned, but at least one was. I haven't been able to keep up with this to the best of my ability, but yes. Update. Another one from last night. According to Arlington Police, the suspect attempted to fire a flare gun at police while they were serving the warrant, causing a massive explosion. But we don't even know if that's true. Because it sounds to me like um, at least most of the flare gun shooting happened before the police were uh, on death's door there. And then ultimately, there may have been some AR-style uh, shooting. But uh, just in case you want to know what a flare does, here you go. It does that. But you probably already know that. So, why exactly he was firing off a flare gun in the first place? I have no idea. Uh, this is um, James Yu. I almost said James Who. James Yu. And there is a, a timeline breakdown from uh, Nick Swarter here. He has a bit more footage. Let me see what this one is all about. This appears to be a video of him shooting a flare gun off before the ultimate events took place. So maybe some uh, calls to the police were made. I'm not really sure what all happened, but let me see. Let me see. Timeline of events. Around 4.45 p.m. Tuesday, Arlington County, Virginia police were called out to a report of possible shots fired. Once officers got to the scene, they became aware that a man inside the home had fired a flare gun out the window 30 to 40 times. The owner of the home, James Yu, then barricaded himself inside and refused to make contact with police. As a result, they obtained a search warrant, and while attempting to execute it, the suspect fired multiple shots at the officers from inside the home, which may not have been shots from a flare gun. Then... At 8.45, an explosion occurred, leveling the entire property. What caused the explosion? The exact cause of the explosion, or how it was triggered, has not yet been made public. I have, however, confirmed that this home did have natural gas hookups and appliances. Funny that he should mention that, because there are further reports that the gas was turned off at the time. So I, I guess they preemptively did that just in case something were to go down. Good thinking if that's the case, but it doesn't explain the explosion. <clears throat> Based on the videos, it seems the explosion originated in the basement, but I cannot confirm this. Where is the suspect? No massive manhunt seems to be underway, so he was most likely killed in the explosion. However, no announcement has been made by any authorities regarding his status. Yes, yes, there has been an announcement since this post, which was earlier this morning, but... Shout out to Nick Sorter there for keeping everything in order. As for James 
you. I feel like I might have said Jonathan you earlier. Hopefully I didn't do that. James you. The LinkedIn account of James you from the Arlington House explosion obviously has been scrubbed from the internet. But I got receipts, says Robbie Andrew. Don't know who Robbie Andrew is, but he has receipts, so. Thanks a bunch. So, stuff here on the screen. I'm not going to read it. You can see it for yourself there. In fact, that, that text is so small that you may not actually be able to see it for yourself. But if I were to uh, flip through the, through the pages of this video, so to speak, you, you would see a little bit of information about him and his alleged, uh, I don't know, work history, or at least abilities. Seems like he might have known some stuff. What exactly is the question? So, yeah, here's a screenshot of his, his account there from that little video. This is the photo version. James Yu. James's YouTube channel. Blah, 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 blah. Reference to F the police. Whether or not that's relevant, I have no idea. But it looks like his accounts, or at least this one, has been scrubbed from the internet. There's some stuff going around. Again, I don't want to speculate on any of this too much because some of it may turn out to be completely unrelated to the events, to the explosion itself. But I'm just saying what people are saying and then leaving you to think about it. Let me know in the comments below if you know anything I don't know. i got to go back to work here in a few minutes. But here is an article from the Associated Press. Man believed to have fired shots at officers before a Virginia house exploded is dead, police say. Um, the suspect who fired at officers from a duplex in an Arlington, Virginia neighborhood before the home exploded on Monday night is presumed dead, according to authorities. So it was a duplex. Don't know if that means that uh, multiple people were or at least could have been nearby at the time. 56-year-old James Yu was identified by Arlington County Police Chief Andy Penn at a press conference Tuesday, uh, which I showed you the the video for but didn't actually play <clears throat> yeah press conference tuesday today as the owner of the duplex and the individual whose actions brought them to the home after firing a flare type gun from inside the house more than 30 times pin said police responded to the house at about 4 45 p.m as nick sorter said Monday, after reports of shots fired, after attempts to communicate with you were unsuccessful, police obtained a search warrant. As officers tried to enter the home, multiple gunshots were fired from within the house, Penn said. Soon after the house exploded, Penn said. Penn said a lot of things, didn't he? The officers escaped serious injury, but it was unclear what happened to the suspect who was inside when the building was leveled. Arlington County, Virginia Police spokesperson Ashley Savage said, officers went to the home about 4.45 p.m. after receiving reports of shots fired, the preliminary investigation showed that a suspect discharged the flare gun from inside his home, but no property damage or injuries were reported, police said in a statement. Well, initially at least. While police investigated, they obtained a search warrant from the home and tried to make contact with the suspect by telephone and loudspeakers, but he remained inside without responding, police said. As officers tried to execute the warrant, police said the suspect discharged several rounds from what is believed to be a firearm inside the home, and around 8.30 p.m. there was an explosion, shooting flames and debris into the air. An investigation into the circumstances of the explosion is ongoing, police said. Three officers reported minor injuries, that's good to know, in the house explosion, but no one was taken to the hospital. Savage said police don't have any evidence that others were in the duplex but can't rule out the possibility. Who knows who he might have had tied up in his basement, right? <clears throat> Too soon. Uh, on Tuesday, officers wearing ATF jackets combed a nearby street looking through papers scattered in the debris field. Junk mail carrying the name and address of the home that exploded were visible on the street. The White House was monitoring developments with the house explosion, a spokeswoman said. I mean... Just don't ask them about what happened to the cocaine in the White House or how it got there. Our thoughts are with the police officers that were injured in that explosion. Olivia Dalton, the White House Principal Deputy Press Secretary, told reporters on 
Air Force One on Tuesday. We're grateful to law enforcement that handled this situation um, very swiftly. I can tell you the ATF is assisting with local law enforcement investigating or investigation into the matter. Uh, but beyond that, I would just refer you to Arlington Police Department, Carla Rodriguez of South Carolina, or South Carolina, South Arlington, said she could hear the explosion more than two miles away and came to the scene, but police kept onlookers blocks away. Could be a minefield in the area. You just never know. I actually thought a plane exploded, she said. Bob Maines thought maybe a tree had fallen on his house when he heard the explosion. I was sitting in my living room watching television, and the whole house shook, Maines said. It wasn't an earthquake kind of tremor, but the whole house shook. Arlington is located across the Potomac River from Washington, D.C. Remember when Ron DeSantis said that Anthony Fauci needed to be chucked across the Potomac? <laughs> oh, that was fun. The explosion occurred in Bluemont, a neighborhood in the North Arlington, in North Arlington, where many of the homes are duplexes. Fire officials do not know the cause of the explosion, said Captain Nate Heiner, a spokesperson for the Arlington Fire Department. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosions <clears throat> said federal agents and federal fire investigators were at the scene and assisting in the investigation. There you have it from the Associated Press. And here you have it from a neighbor. This is a, a, a news clip from yesterday. <clears throat> Take it for what it's worth. Witness to Arlington House Explosion says suspect fired a high-caliber weapon like an AR at police before the explosion. Come out, we don't want to hurt you. And then they ended up driving the, the, um, the SWAT truck through the front door with like a pile-driving arm. And um, okay. at that point, he started firing uh, a weapon back. I mean, I, I believe it was like an AR. It was a high-caliber It was a high caliber weapon. It's not a flare. They shot flares at the beginning. He was not shooting flares near the end. Uh, they started returning fire with non-lethal weapon, with a non-lethal, uh, they kept saying non-lethal, non-lethal. They're shooting a shotgun back into the windows, blasting out the windows a little bit. And then um, at that point, they reversed the truck back. They kept trying to yell to him. He sounded like he was trying to say something back, but they were like, look, we can't hear you. You know, please come out, please come out. We won't get hurt. And, um, <clears throat> At that point, they were they reversed back and they, they changed the angle of the truck and they were going to try to take out the window, the front window there, tell them to back up from the window. And uh, at that point, they were driving forward to the window and that's when the whole place went up. I mean, just absolutely. I mean, you saw the video. It, mm. They were driving forward to the window and that's when the whole place went up. I mean, just absolutely. I mean, you saw the video. It, Interesting stuff. Fox 5, you see there on the microphone. Obviously, this is someone recording a video with your phone of a, of an interview that was happening on a TV screen at the time. <clears throat> but we just don't really know the details. We know what people are saying. Maybe the police department knows more than what they're saying. I mean, they were clearly going in, you know, nothing short of guns blazing at that point though they were aiming for non-lethal. It just so happened to be very lethal for the man with or without the plan. You know, the homeowner, I don't know if that was some form of uh, plan B, you know, exit strategy without him actually being able to exit. I don't know if it had something to do with the flare gun. This is what's being said about gas service. Now, Arlington Fire Department David Pulitz announces that a gas service was cut off prior to the house explosion. At least that's according to Andrew Layden, freelancer for the DC media and YouTube. 35,000 followers. Probably not making that up. I just haven't had enough time to really dig into this the way I would like to. I'm almost 20 minutes into the show. I gotta go. But here is a couple more posts from Steve Luckner, just because he he has a, a live stream going right now. I mean, he's he's going live all the time. He covers all sorts of news. Uh, so, if you're not watching my show, go and watch his. Why not? Not that he needs the the uh, viewers. He has plenty. 
I don't. So like, subscribe, and enjoy the ride. <laughs> but um, Wilson, the neighbor who took the video of the Arlington House explosion from his roof, described James Yu as a recluse and said he had aluminum foil covering the windows. After the home was listed for sale a couple of years ago, hmm, you chased would-be buyers off with a knife, according to Wilson. Real estate records show the home was taken off the market at the end of 2021. I thought at the press briefing, the police said that they didn't have prior interactions with him, except for something to do with with uh, voice, or not voice complaints, noise complaints. Uh, but then again, I didn't listen to the entire press conference. I may have missed out on an important part, so don't take it from me. Another post from Steve Luckner, yes. Police identify James Yu as suspect in Arlington House explosion. He is presumed dead. Human remains have been located at the scene. No other serious injuries besides suspect. Just some minor injuries to several police officers. But you already know that, and you already know this. Anything I might have missed, I'll follow up on it later. Possibly. And my apologies for not getting to to play any of this. Good afternoon, and thank you for, for joining us for this briefing. The Arlington County Police Department and our partner agencies continue to investigate a home explosion at 844 North Burlington Street. Yesterday, at approximately 445 in the afternoon, the Arlington County Police Department was dispatched to the 800 block of North Burlington Street for the report of a possible shots fired incident. And that's all you get. That's all you get, because I got to get out of here. <sighs> running late for work. Too busy running my mouth over here. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Keep in touch. Keep in tune. New content is coming soon. Peace.